A fashion icon, a multi-million bestseller, and one of the most celebrated gadgets of the current century. Stand by as we chart our favorite memories of the Motorola Razr V3. Before they became powerful pocket computers, the most important thing for a phone to get right was style, and the Razer series had style to spare. Revealed in 2004, Motorola's V3 was the thinnest phone around. Built from aluminium with a nickel-plated keypad, this thing looked phenomenal. Hinges aren't something you see in phones anymore, but the Razer makes you miss the days of flipping open a phone. Not only did it keep your mobile screen protected, it felt amazing. The perfect flourish with which to end a conversation. Have it on my desk by Monday. Today the V3 looks positively stone-aged, but even at the time it wasn't all that cutting edge. A 176 by 220 pixel color display plus a VGA camera for taking still images were warmly received, but other phones of the era had fancier hardware. Instead, this phone relied on its ice-cool design, which saw Motorola sell 50 million V3s in under two years. Hello, Moto. Motorola knew it was onto a good thing and made sure there was a razor for everyone, with an increasing parade of colors and patterns, designer models, charity models, loads of variants with slightly altered hardware. The world quickly became flooded with Motorola's hit mobile. The V3 had a huge cultural impact, even making it as a monopoly piece, and Motorola really ran with that success, probably for too long in fact, and by the time the Razr 2 was released, it was competing with Apple's much more advanced iPhone. Motorola was slow to jump on the smartphone bandwagon and suffered as a result, but the Razr V3 will always stand as a testament to the power of really striking design. Razr, we salute you.